and watch this. He writes this to Timothy at a point in Timothy's life where he feels. I think I came to preach today. That wasn't that funny. <laughs> so overwhelmed. And, and, and many scholars believe that he is so discouraged to the degree that he is about to give up on his calling. Because he endured some persecution. And at first, at first, he started off the journey right. Like he was crushing it. But he's at a point in his life right now where he is enduring some kind of persecution and some kind of uh, obstacle. To the degree that Timothy is starting to convince himself he's the wrong man for the job. Have you ever... No, 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 maybe, not, maybe, no, not, not in this church. <laughs> maybe I need to talk to somebody over here. Like, have you ever convinced yourself and try to convince God that he got the wrong person? You, you, ever been like, you ever been like Moses? You ever been like Gideon? I'm sorry, God. Like, that's not me. You must have missed me. Go to Aaron. Go to somebody else. Gideon's like, man of valor, I'm here. Hi. Like, I'm the wrong person. Paul has to write this letter to Timothy. He says, I constantly thank my God, whom I serve with a clear conscience, as my ancestors did. When I remember you in my prayers night and day, recalling your tears and longing to see you, to that, that I can be filled with joy. Watch this. I am reminded of your sincere faith. He's trying, to, he's trying to encourage Timothy, which first existed in your grandmother, Louise, and in your mother, Eunice. And I am convinced that this faith also exists in you. For this reason, I'm sending, for this reason, where am I, where am I? For this reason, I am reminding you to fan the flame the gift of God that is within you through the laying of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of timidity, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind or self-discipline. I want you to write this down. I am convinced that God has placed a calling on my life. <laughs> you, need to, <laughs> you need to hear this. You need... The greatest struggles that I've seen as a pastor is people that have dissuaded themselves from believing that God loves them. And people have dissuaded themselves from believing that they are the right person for the job. This is on repeat. On repeat. Constant advice. Not with different people. Sometimes it's the same person. Because the enemy entraps us with his lies and tries to persuade you. That you're the wrong person for the job, and oftentimes we believe that. But Paul, you know what he says? He says, I'm convinced that there's something that God has placed on the inside of you, Timothy. <laughs> because it existed in your grandmama, and it existed before you were even in the, in the picture. It existed in your grandma, it existed in your mama, and can I tell you, let's be honest, it existed in the mind of God well over before it ever came into this earth. Let me, and he says, fan the flame the gift that is in you. On three occasions, he says, it's in you, Timothy. It's in you, Timothy. It's in you, Timothy. Stop thinking that it's not in you. Stop thinking it's in someone else. And this word gift carries the connotation. Listen to this. Hey, Pastor Ro here. And really quickly, I want to take a moment just to hit the pause button and tell you about three ways you can connect and support this ministry. It's only going to take 30 seconds of your time, and then you'll be able to go back to watching the rest of this video. And here's the first one. If you need prayer, give us an opportunity to pray for you. Visit prayforme.kuhau.com and submit your prayer requests. Number two, we have merchandise you can purchase and different ways that you can donate and support this content. It's all found in the description, so make sure you go and check it out. Number three, if you're looking for a church community, visit us at kuhau.com slash new and tell us where you're from so that we can plug you into our church family. Okay, let's get back to this video. The word gift here is not talking about a capability or an ability. The word gift here, he's specifically talking about, the notion here is that Timothy had a unique grace to accomplish a specific assignment that God had planned for him. Did you catch that? It's a gift. 
Meaning, he had a unique grace to accomplish a special assignment that God has given him. And here's the, here's the thing, that Timothy had contemporaries. Paul had other spiritual sons. And Timothy could have been like, listen, you need to send Luke. You need to send Mark. You need to send Barnabas because I may not be the man for the job. I may not be the one that's supposed to lead this church. I may not be the one that's supposed to preach to this people. Can I tell you today that God has given each and every one of you a unique grace to accomplish a special assignment. And guess what? My unique grace is for me to accomplish my assignment. Guess what? You cannot, you cannot delegate your destiny. You cannot delegate what God has destined for your life. And oftentimes I've been in that place like, listen, there's so many other people that are more qualified. Can I tell you, I, I need you to hear this. There's some people here that you've already convinced yourself that if you leave this church, that things are going to be okay. Can I tell you, your presence matters in this place. I just feel like I need to say this to Julie. Where's Julie? Julie, when I came in here, I felt the Holy Spirit tell me to tell you, you make this place feel special. And your presence matters at Ignite Church. So maybe you're at that place where you've tried to delegate your destiny. Maybe you're at that place where you've said someone else will do it. Someone else can do it. My presence here doesn't matter. What would it look like, Pastor George, if every single person that called Ignite Church their home church was convinced of their calling the way the Apostle Paul was convinced that Timothy had a calling? Can I tell you? Newark. <laughs> Newark would never be the same again. I am convinced that I am called by God. I don't know if you read this story, but there was a skinny little staff that thought that it had no purpose, but God used it to deliver a people of Israel. I don't know if you know this, but there was a slingshot that had convinced itself it cannot be used by God, but, but God used it to defeat a lion, a, a giant. I don't know if you know this, but there was a little bit of mud that had convinced itself that it was only going to be mud and it was only going to be stepped on. But Jesus used a little bit of mud to bring healing to a blind man. I don't know if you know this, but there were two pieces of wood that were convinced that they were only going to be two pieces of wood and burned up for the fire. But those pieces of wood and three nails is what God used to bring salvation and redemption to an entire world. I am convinced. Someone give God a shout of praise in this place. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you'd like to watch more like it, be sure to subscribe so that you won't miss anything we release. You can also hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified as soon as we do so. And if you'd like to watch our live stream service every Sunday, all the information is in the description below. God bless you. See you soon.